How are you? <laughs> Where's mom? I brought her some. What's that? I brought her some flowers. It's Mother's Day. I know. I know. Oh, is that thing running? Oh, man, how you doing? How are you? It's your camera. You that thing is running, camera. man. Is it running again? It's it must running, be. Yeah. I brought you a tape. Let's go watch. No kidding. No, Let's go watch. All right. Freed, right? <laughs> look what look what Freed brought up for you. Oh, Got some man. flowers and stuff, yeah. yeah. And we cleaned the patio off. She helped, but I did most yeah. of the work. Yeah. And I Clean bought you a Learjet. Huh? It's up at the airport. There's Happy right Mother's here. Day. Happy Mother's Day, <laughs> Miss Beatty. There's nice Thank flowers you. for you. <laughs> you remember me? Surprise! <laughs> I'll Surprise! Get you forget a character like that. Yes, <laughs> Do you know? That thing I stopped him though because, you know, whatever, whatever, anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> and I brought you a tape to watch. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Let's put yeah, it on and watch. Tape right here. You want to sit down and watch this tape? It might be pretty interesting. I think. I don't. Yeah. Know. Okay. Well, I don't know what time it is. I don't know what day well, it is. Well, that's all right. We got to do some. Today is the Mother's Day. Yeah, today's yeah. Mother's Day, yeah. You got the yeah. patio all cleaned off for you, and I think I know what I'm going to do now to get your thing that you need. So we're going to get the thing that you need, and then life will be beautiful. Yeah. That, that tray is going to fall. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I don't want that to happen. It's nice that you're paying attention. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You want some water? Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to get back on out. You there. go ahead if you want to go. Yeah, yeah. Rick is going ahead. Yeah, they probably had enough. Yeah, let's, let's just right turn now, on and put this in. You go and take, take care of your medication. No, we'll have to figure, no, I'll have to figure it out. Then it'll take me some time, and I don't have time right now. Everything is not hooked up? No. You sure? Yeah. You can work. You know how to do it? Hmm? Yeah. You know how to do it? Yeah. I can know how to do it. Well, yeah. Well, go for it. <laughs> What's up to mom? Maybe, you know, She's you know, not feeling so well. She probably doesn't like. You want to get something right to eat now. here? Wait a minute. Okay, we need something to eat here. Sure. Okay, just go ahead. Don't we'll take just these suppose to... I'm not here. All right. <laughs> just pretend he's. Yeah, you will. Sam. Can I take a camera? Huh? Can I take a shot? I'm going to live. Where's what? Oh, in the studio? Yep. Okay. Carl? Who's that? Studio car. Car? Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Hi, Carl. Hi. How are you doing? How are you? Don't, don't burn yourself. I'll try not to. Everybody is uh, fixing cars today. Yeah. Changing the oil. <laughs> that's not really counted as fixing. No, that's true there. Just, that's just what you call maintenance. This is uh, only you, Carl, Mom and Dad, right? That's it. Uh -huh. Got so another brother out in California. Oh, you got another brother. Yes, what's, what's he doing? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How come? Bob doing out in California. Bob? I haven't heard from him for a while, but he he usually picks up any kind of jobs he can get. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. He uh, he lives in sort of a I guess you call it remote section mm -hmm. up north. There's a little place called um, Honeydew. Honeydew, California. Mm. And uh, there's not a whole lot of work there, but he does oh all different kinds yeah. of things. He does. You mean yeah. who's that? Very dangerous Home kind of frisbee. Huh? Yeah, that's that's really. It's very dangerous. Let's see. Uh, I forget your name. 
Farid. Farid, right. Yeah, call. Let's see. Let me see his frisbee first. Oh, gosh. Oh, wow. Call. How are you? Okay, how are you doing? What were we doing? You're fixing the car. Yeah, I'm cutting it off with the torch there. Uh huh. Yeah, there's a nut and a bolt that didn't want to come apart, so take the torch and cut it off. Uh, is that what you do usually normally? Yeah. Is that your job? Fixing cars? Oh, no, no, I just do that to, to save money. Oh. I've done it before for a living. Mechanic. What do you do for a living, Carl? Right now I'm an instructor at the Technical Education Center. Oh, where's it's that? Computer electronics and stuff. Wow. Down in Ard Ardennes Avenue in Twin Twinbrook. Uh huh. Yeah. That. You all are in this uh, electronic stuff business, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, no problem. Then, okay, let's let's talk to Mrs. Beatty. Yes. Let's sit down and talk a little bit. You want to sit down? Yeah, it's easier to sit down, I all think. Right. Not yet. You got to ask questions. How are you? Mm -hmm. The little button right there. Where? Yeah. That's right. Look. 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 Do you have a small radio station here, or you can get all the radio stations, or you can send also from yeah. here? You can broadcast from here? Yeah. This, this is a transmitter. It's a transmitter. Huh. It's a transmitter. It's come down there. I haven't fixed up yet. And I get, I go all over the world. Really? All over the world. Yeah. That's my club I belong to. We, we meet once a year. All oh. of these people are millionaires. Oh, really? This guy didn't want to show his face, so we put a false face on him. <laughs> uh, Why they don't want to show their face? Mm -hmm. What? Let me see. Probably FBI or something. Uh huh. My yeah. ham station. And I talk to people all over the world. And, and I help people. Especially little boys and girls come in here and they want to be learn how to get a license. I teach them. Really? They, mm -hmm. The kids come here? They come here. Uh huh. I, I give them lessons. Just uh, charge them no money. From school or you just school, friends? Yeah, yeah, little ones. And I give them lessons on this stuff so they can pass their, their examination and get a ticket. Uh -huh. And this is better. They learn this. Than being on the street, right. learning to smoke this stuff, which is marijuana, only well, it's fake. Yeah. See? And these cards, when we send cards out, we get cards back. Oh, Some really? of my cards from all over the world. Here's one from okay, Moscow. From where, Moscow? Moscow. At that time, this was in 19 something. Hmm. Anyway, we were not on good terms with Russia, and we were allowed to talk to him in Russia. Right. So this person here, this hand, sent me his card, which oh, is not allowed I, to actually do. Actually, you can talk to everybody in the world? It has, really? It has a license. Has a license? You have to have a license, yeah. Huh. And my license is, I got them all around here. This is, this is my license here. This is my station Let me see. license. Yeah. W oh. Three C L X. Uh huh. With my name okay. on the bottom. Interesting. Yeah. See. Yes. And then we put things on the back, you know. Mm hmm. Uh, our age and stuff like that. And but I'll tell you about this car. A person knocked at my door, and this person could not speak no English. Mm hmm. But handed me a novel. Huh. And he took the novel out of his pocket 
but it was his nephew that sent me this card, and he sewed it up in his uncle's suit mm -hmm. in the lining, and his uncle gave it to me. You, can you speak to them now, to Russians? Yeah. Right now? Huh? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. well, right now, my antenna is up in the trees, and it is stuck in the tree. Uh -huh. uh, it goes around, and I have a motor on it. And I have to get up there and cut it. So it will go around so I can get, maybe I want Africa or something. Mm -hmm. And I can turn this on, and I might get the astronauts for me. Mm -hmm. That are up in space. You know, the Mars, the Carol boat come down in one week. I might get their beam. There it is. Mm -hmm. Hear it? But that's code. I can't speak every language. Oh, I see. So but they the send code. I Everybody see. understands code. I see. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, like, give me a favor. Can you take that's that envelope uh, so I can see? Yeah. This one? Which one? No, no, because I want to see your... Uh, the, the, that thing that you've sent the codes with. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's in my picture, yeah. Okay, good. Well, this here? Yeah. This is what we send code with. I'll, I'll send some code. I just sent out my calls, my station license. Oh. Now, when somebody's listening, they will come back. Oh, they'll, they'll send you back on this thing? That I'll hear it on this. I see. I this see. receives and also sends out. Mm -hmm. Not much power. This is the big one here. Oh, that and now there's a federal police officer. Oh. The government. Uh -huh. Here's my sign up there. Really? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> and I'm retired now. That sign says what? And so I do this. Federal police. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. For 20 years. Oh, you. You were years. federal police for two, 20 years. 20 years, then I had to get out, got too hard, too rough. Too many young kids shooting guns. And one one person come up, and I was working, and this person was a relief officer that had to go, you know, to, to the bathroom. Or I had to go to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom, when I came back, he was shot. Oh. He was shot right in the mouth. That would have been me. And so I got out of it. I, when did it happen? Mm -hmm. When? When did it happen? That happened. Oh, that only happened about uh, about six years ago. Six I've been really? retired for about six years. Oh, I see. So six. you just retired six years ago? Mm -hmm. About six years ago. Oh, I see. So you see, I'm, mm. this is my hobby. This is what I do now. Yeah. I had, you know. Uh -huh. I had twin yeah, brother, he, okay. he was killed in Korea. Oh, he killed in Korea. 26 years old. Huh? He was in the Korean War, and I was in World War One. Not World War One, World War Two. World War Two, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I served in the South Pacific. Even I wasn't in World War One. You were? And I, no. I said even I wasn't in no, World War One. How could, could it yeah, be you? I was a radio <laughs> radio operator on on the B-29s, and went over. Japan. Sure, I even hmm. got lost in the jungles Gee. for six months. The plane, plane went down. Uh huh. And for six months, Japanese held too. And I had, I was scared. Now oh, I you were Jap I watched what the birds ate. You know, I had to have water. And I watched what the birds ate. And then I got along for six months. I had a big beard on. And pretty soon the Marines come around. And they reoccupied the island. Which island was it? No, on truck, T R U C K. That's in the Mariana Islands. And uh, there's many islands there. The Saipan is one of them. So that's the Second World War. And the Marines come along, and they seen me, and they put their guns up like that, because I thought they're going to shoot me. And they said, "What's your serial number?" Uh, you know that right away up here, you know, give it that mm -hmm. to them. What's your last name? I said that. And then they said, uh, who is Joe DiMaggio married to? 
Oh, I better answer that quick or they would shoot me. They thought maybe I might be Japanese. They, they were, he was married to Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe, right. I had yeah. to know that, Philip. Yeah. And they almost got shot by my own men. Yeah, but that was, uh, what year was it? That was 1940. See, I went in 1942, about 1944. So I don't know what year he got married now. I was overseas. Uh-huh. But you went during the World War II. Joe DiMaggio was married to Marilyn Monroe? Yeah. It was or with a Betty Grable. Oh, it must I be somebody. I mean somebody Betty here. Grable, not, yeah. not Marilyn Monroe. Because those, the, the, I think I they got married in the 60s or so, uh, late 50s. Late 50s. Late 50s, yeah. right. Want so, to know that stuff. Yeah, yeah there's got to be somebody else. Who was that one? Uh, Who was the one? That, Joe DiMaggio? No. The Who one. Uh, the another one that you said, not Marilyn Monroe. Uh. <laughs> no. well, who was it he said? I've forgotten that myself. I just said it. You just said it, right. The girl looked like a Coke bottle. Uh -huh. Betty, Betty Grable. Betty, Betty Grable. Betty Grable, right, Betty, right, right, right. And then uh -huh. Betty Grable, I think, married Harry James, too. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Did she? Uh -huh. I, I can't keep track of all these wounds on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he's getting so old, you know, he forgets. <laughs> well, I forget, too, sometimes. I'm oh, okay. I, that's uh, where she keeps her money. Yes? After, I got a story to tell you. Hey, just tell me. I, hey, just tell me. We, we come up from Ohio. Tell me. There was no work in Ohio. I'm from Ohio. So I come up here and, and got a job and was up here for almost a year. Then I sent back uh -huh. for, to, send, to bring them up. And they come up here on a Christmas Eve. It was snowing. Oh, my. Why didn't you go there? No, that's OK. And I went to. I you in the, the, I went and picked her up oh, at, the okay. boy, at the train station and I bought her out to the farm that uh -huh. I rented. I rented a farm. Ten acres, a ten acre farm. And Colesville. And she yeah, Colesville. And she went in she had to go to the bathroom. She went into the bathroom. She didn't know where nothing was. I said, here's the bathroom. She went over there and I pretty soon I heard somebody going, Oh, 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 I thought something's wrong. I ran in the bathroom. And she was leaning over the toilet bowl like this. And I don't know what made me do this. I took my foot and I kicked the toilet bowl and knocked it over. And she kept pointing, but she couldn't talk. And here uh, in, uh, in the toilet bowl was a little white handkerchief. Inside the handkerchief was all the money we had yeah. to pay for the movers that would be there the next day. <laughs> She'd been that over what? the little chain broke and then flushed the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know where the septic tank was. That was how much? 300 kind of bucks. No, too, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Well, he, you did get, oh, that's right, the little handkerchief got stuck on it. Part of the toilet bowl was, was cracked, was like it got ragged stuck edge, in there. you know. Mm -hmm. You were lucky. And uh, the handkerchief got caught in one of those little edges in there. Yeah, and they yeah. couldn't tell us apart. Yeah. And then when I went to school, I was the bad twin because I ate garlic. Mm -hmm. and, the, and the teacher couldn't stand it to smell <laughs> and it made her sick. And I, but I went home and she kept my brother and spanked, spanked his hand like this. And then, then when we got older, we used to trade girlfriends. Really? They didn't know. Uh -huh. She didn't know. Oh, go on. No, you didn't. I did. <laughs> I said, I don't feel like going on a date to you take her yeah. out. <laughs> what do you think is your, or was, your biggest mistake in life? Oh, marrying this guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. <laughs> you robbed a cradle when you married me. If I knew yeah. your age, I wouldn't have married you. She's younger because, than you. Uh, yeah. Because, uh, because I'm two years older than he is. <laughs> Well, I guess it wasn't a mistake. I mean, I think I could have done worse, you know. So. I don't know, what was your biggest mistake in life, anyway? I don't. We haven't made none yet. <laughs> That's good. We haven't okay. made any. It looks like, fortunately, you really don't have any problems in this life. You've been uh, happy no. people, and well, lucky we're people. Happy. I wish we're someday happy. my boys would get married. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, it looks like you like them to get married. Maybe? Oh yeah, yeah, you, uh -huh. girls, you know them. 
Well, <laughs> nice girl. I, I think I think if the girls would uh, really know your young kids here, they they would be interested because this guy is an artist. The other guy is very yeah. engineer and uh, has a. Uh, well, they're all intelligent. They're like brain they're really like their dad, yeah, it's intelligent. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like their dad, huh? Yeah, <laughs> just like oh, the dad. Who said you were so smart? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wish they would. You know, I mean, they're they're really really slow, but uh, how how old are they? They're all, they're both in their forties, sir. Uh -huh. I can't, uh, they don't have girlfriends yet. Forty-two, forty-four, really? something like that. But well, Rick, he's going to church. And Rick, he's trying to meet. I said, "You want to meet a nice girl? Go to church." That's what I told him. I said, "I don't care what kind of church you go. Go to church. You, they got some nice girls in church." He said, "You got some bad ones too." I said, "That's why they go to church." <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to play something for me, right? Right. Uh, that was really interesting. Have you heard him play? Of course oh, you yeah. have. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mother. Yeah. <laughs> I've been living with Ra my life yeah. so far, anyhow. No, actually, I mean, no. we've known each other all our life. You did leave once he, for a while. Yeah, I was that for a while. Yeah, she said uh, she'll yeah, like, she like uh, you to get married. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> okay, let's go okay. in there. Uh, let's see your studio. You live from outside, it hardly looks like a, what do you call it, a studio? Oh, no, it doesn't look like a studio from the outside. At no. all. But from inside, it's, a, it's really it's, interesting. It's different. Yeah. Okay. Okay, up the ramp we go. Up the ramp we go. Turn the lights on.
song does it has words to it, but they're not in here yet. Oh, you played this? Yeah, I pretty much put this one together. Yeah, and Rick, my brother, he helped. Uh huh. But the words aren't in it yet. It's a story about a musician uh -huh. who uh, was deprived of his musical instrument, uh -huh. and he went crazy. They had to lock him in the Institute for the Musically Insane. They had to lock him up down there. Uh huh. And then one day he got away. <laughs> uh huh. He turned inside out. And he sprouted wings and flew away. That's how he got out of there. And he's still at large to this very day. <laughs> did he, how did he get out? He turned inside out and he sprouted wings. And then he flew away. Huh. So that's how the story goes, anyhow. Where did you get the story? I made the story up. I came up yeah. with the words. Yeah. And in the darkest depths of the asylum, they kept a place for those who were musically insane, depriving them of their musical instruments. Amongst them, there was one who was more insane than all. But with his imagination, he could still hear the sympathy he had written in the Sea of Key. The sound was so loud, it came out of his ears. Then one day, he turned inside out. He sprouted wings, and he flew away. still at large to this very day. Well, I must have gone mad or crazy, don't you see? To have the desire in my deepest dream to return and be incarcerated again someday in the Institute for Musically Insane. Sure, I want to do some traveling. Yeah, that of course everybody wants to do that, but yeah. uh, that's that's a, that's a big thing to do. Yeah. yeah, there's some specific thing that you wanted to say always, and you have not said it yet. Well, I know I don't know if I would like to be able to. relate to people in a religious manner, which I don't, I back off because I don't think I have enough knowledge, you know, Bible knowledge, you know. Oh. That's one thing that I back off on, which someday maybe I'll have more confidence, you know, in myself. Maybe I'll... Well, so probably you I have would, something I, in mind to say, like but to you something. back off because you I think. think I don't have, I so don't what is that thing that you wanted to say? It's it's related. It's Bible related. You know, I don't have enough Bible study, which doesn't give me the confidence that I need to talk to people about God and about Jesus. Do you mean uh, you wanted to say something, but you want to back it up by Bible knowledge? Right. Because if you're talking to somebody about God and about Jesus Christ and everything, you're, their life will come forth with some questions that you can't answer because you don't have all the knowledge that you need, you know. Well, so I don't need really, I don't know that much about the Bible. I don't have that knowledge. You can say it to me. Right. So you don't have to prove it to me. Don't right. worry about it. Just go ahead and say it. Right. I don't have 
I don't have enough Bible knowledge, you know, to talk to somebody about God and about Jesus Christ. So if you had, what would you talk about? I would, I would ask them, had they ever, um, had they ever confessed Jesus as their Savior? Had, are they interested in becoming a Christian? You know, would you like to come to church with me some Sunday? I would ask people that. You know, uh, you have to, you have to be willing to confess your sins to God, and as soon as you do that, you're, you're forgiven of your sins. It's, it's sort of a plain and simple type of thing, you know? Hmm. I would someday like to be able to talk to people, you know, like that, and, and feel that I did them some good, you know? Yeah. Do, you, do you have yourself anything to confess? Anything, I've, I've confessed anything, you know, I've confessed my, all my wrongdoings to God, to Jesus Christ, and I have already been forgiven. Uh -huh. In my own mind, I feel like, you know, I'm clear. I don't have to worry. So is it too much if I ask you, say, say one of those things? But do you have confessed? Oh, well, it's sort of a personal kind of thing. Yeah, um, it was too personal, you don't... But, you know, when you're talking about sins, you can talk about... You can talk about uh, lying or cheating or that type of thing. And, you know, I always try to be, to be truthful in what all I say and everything. But uh, you can take things, you can make a big thing out of, you know, sins can be very, very little, or they can be very, very, you know, middle, or very, very large sins, whatever they are, it matters not. Mm -hmm. When you ask to be forgiven, that's it, and it's simply it's done, you know. Uh, but, oh, I've made some mistakes in my life. Everybody does, I guess. Some of them I don't want, you know, I just wouldn't want to get into. But so there's nothing that you think you might say now on I mean, any of those mistakes or... I just, you know, I think it's a personal type of thing that I wouldn't want to go into, but, <coughs> but I could say you, <coughs> you can, you can, uh, you can do a lot of things that, that actually are sinful. You take the sin of commission and the sin of omission not doing something that you should have done as a sin of omission. Mm -hmm. you know. um, there's just so many things, you know. Just one of them. Well, even, even like I was telling you before, even dealing with my sons, I admitted I wasn't the mother I should have been uh. because I didn't do what I should have done. Mm. Now that is a simple thing so for a mother not to do what she's supposed to do. Now that, you know, that might seem like a little thing to some people, but to me it's not. Right. You know, that was mm -hmm. a big thing, and yet I can't go back, you know. Mm -hmm. That was a simple thing for me not to, to handle that, those things differently, you know. Mm -hmm. but Like I said before, it's too late, too late. You better do what you can do now. Hmm. That's 
the way it is. All right. So thank you very much. Uh, yeah, you think I was good or bad? <laughs> yeah, you have very good. You have, you have beautiful smile. <laughs> you have a beautiful, lovely smile. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I see. <laughs> Did I, I tell it you was school? I thought it was church. What's the case? It's, we have church in here, but it's oh, school. Okay. <laughs> Where did he get that? Hmm? It's not, it wasn't in the album. Where did he bring it out from? I don't know. Where did you have <laughs> this picture, Dick? Oh. Where did you have this picture? What picture? This one of uh, us on the beach. When? Where did you have it? Where did you have it? I didn't. I got some hidden in there. You got some hidden. Do you there. have more uh, secret pictures I got here? Some of you too. Well, bring them out. Suit. You want me to bring it out? Sure. Bring them out. My, my mother lived in Florida for so many years, and we had gone down there, and he says, go down there, and all you see is old people around there. He says, you don't ever see any women in their bikinis. <laughs> well, <laughs> I said, well, you know. Uh, but they had a lot of young people down there. Yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, there was more than just retired people that lived there. There had to be. Of course. <laughs> you know, but he didn't like going down there. Actually, well, retired I, people go down there just to see the young ones. Probably. <laughs> and my mother and dad went down there every year in the winter time, and I used to go down every year to visit her. And in January, I take my vacation in January again. Um, uh, and then after my father died, why well, she, well, they had, later on, they had sold their house. Very. Wow, look at that picture. Wow. Oh, gosh. Yeah. You didn't wow. have to bring that out here. <laughs> wow, look at that. The bathing beauty, huh? <laughs> This is interesting. And they they said his bro brother said that that he was taking some pictures to enter in a beauty contest, and then later on he says, "Oh yeah," he says, "You came in third. And he said, "He said there was just three applicants, and you came in third. <laughs> Who I, came in third? I did. How are you? He said there was only three people who entered the contest, and you came in third. <laughs> Who was first? I don't know. I so, think that was pretty good, well, telling me that, that, you know, just making up some stories that, that they were entering me in a beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> what year was Him this and one? his brother. I yeah. don't know. You don't know? What year? I don't know what year that was taken. What, what, what's his picture uh, underneath? Oh, that's, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh, when he was in the Army. When he was in the Army. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 1950. Hmm. 1950. That's the year probably you got married, right? Yeah, that picture was taken more long. It was taken before 1950, Dick. Huh? That picture was taken. I didn't even know you when you were in the service. Hmm. I know that. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your picture. Oh, so, oh, it looks like some of your children. 
Rick? You've been in here before, Yes. Hey, Rick. What you doing? Yeah. Is that the way he goes up? Is that well, the way? That's one way. Other way it might be easier, but then you have what? to this is, this is more interesting way. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can come up. This wow, is this my, is... Uh, this is my room. I'm changing it around. <coughs> this is nice. So Carl has been working on that place for 20 years. How long have you been working here? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, I got the outside done. The uh, uh, yeah. The, uh, the siding. Is... You know the siding. Mm -hmm. I got all the siding done. I want to get that complete. done. Then I just recently started on this upstairs. And I've just been getting rid of junk, you know, uh -huh. so much junk. And I had, I had a lot of junk up here. I had two and a half bags full of trash that was up here. Do you sleep here too? Yeah, I'm starting to. Yeah, this just folds out. Uh huh. This, and this is gonna be. I actually, this is pretty nice. This looks like a, a tree house. <laughs> it's up there, see? It's so up there. Uh -huh. <laughs> now this here is my sawdust burner. I just found this thing. This fit on here. This handle fit onto this thing pretty nicely. Huh. So that worked out real nice. Is that uh, your uh, stove? This is no. a sawdust burner, but I've been burning wood in it. You see, there's a drum inside of this other drum. Uh-huh. That's got uh, through making this thing. I made this out of my sheet metal. Look at that, you can see the bends in there. Uh-huh. I, I made those bends in there. It looks this like a fancy piece of furniture. And this is your... Uh, this is my little work table here. Work I'm trying, table. I'm trying to keep clean. It is. And that's my super that. shelf over there. I just got through building the super shelf. Super shelf? Yeah. There's another shelf up there. Now, you said you made some special stairs. Remember? Yeah. Yeah? Where are they? Um, Over there, huh? Um, I'll tell you what. I'll go downstairs and unlock the door from outside. I have to do it from outside. Unless you want to do it, Mom. Yeah. Can you get it? I'll have to do it from outside. Okay. Yeah, just move that ladder out of the way. Just go on down that way. So we can go down this way. Okay. Just move that board and move the ladder. You'll see what what you have to do. Okay. It's not a board, it's just a piece just of Just to get the door open. Yeah. Okay. You'll see. These bottles were, these these are antique bottles. And they were dug up on this, from this property. Hmm. Right over there. Really? Yes. And I have a, somewhere, I have Thomas Edison battery oil bottle. It's mm. a little tiny bottle that says Thomas Edison on it. It raises letters. Really? And I found that right over behind the house, <laughs> sitting on the ground. I didn't even have to dig for it. It was just laying on the ground in the bushes. Thomas Edison? Thomas Edison battery oil. <laughs> I'm serious. Uh, these are neat little bottles. Uh huh. For consumption. Doesn't yeah, have date on him, somehow? Well, no, but you can see it's old glass because of the air bubbles in there and stuff. Uh-huh. Some of these glasses are very small and thin. Oh, look at that guy. He's, he's really getting down there. Let me see. Where's Thomas Edison at? Let me, let me think here. Um... Um... um Oh, wait a minute. Okay, okay. Right over here. Right over here is Thomas Edison. Let me see here. This might be him right here. Really? Yeah, I think this is it. Okay, let's see. As a matter see. of fact, I think this is Thomas Edison. <laughs>
You see, I got, you see, I got two bucket fulls. Uh huh. See them two five gallon buckets? Right. And I take my glass, I take all my glass except for those guys there. It's the only except I take my glass and take it in a bag. And this is indeed Thomas Edison battery oil. Hmm. Thomas uh, Edison battery oil. Yeah. Let's see. Thomas Edison. Can you see that? Thomas mm -hmm. A. Edison? Right. Mm -hmm. That's a signature in raised glass. And uh, Edison battery oil made in, in USA. USA. Mm -hmm. What's that say? Thomas right. A. Edison Incorporated. Mm -hmm. Bloomingfield, I believe. Blooming or Bloomfield. Uh huh. New, New Jersey, Jersey, USA. USA. That's interesting. It is very interesting. See, there's his name, it's a, and it's all in raised mm -hmm. lettering. So this has got to right. be an old bottle. I didn't. I've never even heard of battery oil before. <laughs> What's battery oil? I don't know. I've never heard of it before until I seen until I found this bottle. Huh. Right behind the house, right up here. Hmm. All right. So I have a lot of a lot of bottles. I like the antiques. I'm really into antiques. Watch your step. All right. Start out with your left foot. Okay. All right. Okay. Very important. <laughs> Start out with your left foot. Right. There's no choice in the matter. All right. Stand right on the edge here and start out with your left foot. Okay. Left. Right. <laughs> You'll be all right. It's it's pretty. Gosh, it's pretty dark in here too. It's, they're pretty natural. Oh, that's it's interesting. Now I know what you mean. They're pretty natural. Oh. They're these are actually a little you bit did, too. Did, Oh, you, you you put stairs for every foot, right, left. Like I that, see. A, a big step from down. From down now there. I know what you mean. I see. All right. Thank you very much for now. So I'll see you next time. Adios. Sarnada. <laughs> Happy trails to you until we meet again. <laughs> Happy trails. Mrs. Oh, yeah. Biddy, how are you? Alright. How's yeah. everything? Is that okay? What a nice sunny day! Oh, yeah! Huh? Yeah, it is! Wow! Looks nice in here, too! Huh? It looks nice in here, too! Oh! Yeah? Looks you you moved that little, around, actually! It looks a little messy! No, you moved that thing... Uh, oh, yeah! Somebody I see. moved it, I don't know who moved it! Uh-huh, maybe Carl! Maybe! Yeah, where is Carl? Oh, he's around here someplace! Is he? <laughs> I don't he? know where he is! <laughs> How's Mr. Beatty? Just, um... You know, I haven't talked to him. I really yeah. decided I wasn't going to call him. I mean, you know. <clears throat> so you still don't think uh, it's a good idea I should go see him? No, I don't really think so. Uh, I think it's better. It's better this way. He had cold and he had flu? He had flu. He had flu. He had, and then along with the emphysema, that's what made it so bad, see. And I don't even know if he if he developed pneumonia or not. I don't know that. No, I hope I mean, not. I didn't huh? say that, but yeah. I think maybe the doctor would have said something. But the doctor, the doctor he's going to is a very good doctor. He just he just doesn't tell you very much, you know. Mm hmm He's very quiet. Hmm. Anyway, so okay. Well, today actually we're now? just uh, doing whatever you are doing. I'm just. Following you around. Oh yeah, you're following me around. Well, I go home. I go out there and see what the chickens are doing, and and see if they need some clean water, and and see if they can lay any eggs. By the way, I got some eggs for you. Oh, you yeah, I gotta yeah. lay them out here so I don't forget. That's huh? great. That's great. Thank you. Hmm. 
I just had a bowl of soup. Are you? You did? I just had some soup. Okay. So, but I'll get the, um, I'll get the eggs out of here so I can get them. And maybe. maybe wow, great. Maybe I should put these in. You need that box, don't you? No, no. Oh. Well, if you, you can bring it back later if you want to, but I, oh, I sure. still have some. Thank you very much. Just leave I'll it put somewhere. I'll these in here, so you probably be going out this yes, way anyway. Yes, it doesn't matter. I won't forget. I promise. <laughs> those eggs, uh, those eggs, so good. That's I cannot forget them here anyway. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I go out here and see, check the. Check My the wife's the asking uh, about Mr. BD too. Oh, My okay. children were asking about him. Actually, oh, they yeah. heard that they are that he's been sick. Yeah. Uh, they really wanted me to go see him. I said, oh. well, I will, but I have to ask their permission first. <laughs> I think I better put yeah. my coat on if I'm going after you. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go after him. Oh, they're, la they're eggs. I think she laid some eggs. Yeah, that's what she's doing. Oh, she already got up. Yeah, there are two, two eggs there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'll get those out of there. Mm -hmm. Is she trying to say something? Yeah? She's probably announcing that she laid eggs, right? Yeah, they do that a lot. Yeah? But this, see, these eggs are still warm. And, uh, she didn't lay, I don't imagine she laid both those eggs. No, she can't do but two at a time, does she? I don't think that's what they do. I don't know. She probably wants to come out here. Yeah. Get with the rest of the gang, huh? Come on, I'm not in your way. What did you do, Rick? When? Now. What did you Put do? Put that up the stairs, huh? Yeah. Oh, you're still working on the stairs? Oh, you, you're going to have to take that up my rope, aren't you? Yeah. Oh. Is that an adventurous day today? Do you need me to help you, Rick? No. I can help you. Well, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll come out, <laughs> yeah, I'll come out there and help you. Okay. I get this up and then lower the rope back down and maybe you can take this and, and tip it up like this and you can, you can slip this knot around this thing. Okay, I, I help her, sure. Put it in the center. Yeah. Well, you know I, I mean? know if I know how to make No problem. Out. No, I'll do that. I'll help you. Let me okay. see how you make that knot. So you don't no have problem. to worry about that, so you oh, just pull oh, it out. Oh, oh, it'll be already made. Yeah, yeah. it's already made. See the great big loop? Then, then just yeah. Just take this, this big loop and put it around here like this, see? Oh, yeah. I want this to go to stay straight up and down because I, I got the drawers and the mm -hmm. rope is going to hold the drawers shut. Don't oh, worry yeah. about that. Just put it right in the center. Okay. All the way around here. Alright. And uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah. 
I'll take this. Can move this over here. Here. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Okay. All you got to do is just tip it back like that and slip that rope around there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? I'll help you. It's only take a second. Oh. 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 Oh.
she will be. That's going to be a fancy and cozy big tree house. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> You okay, Rick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. If you want to move something else, let me know. I think that's it. Well, we ask your mom to be the camera woman, yeah? yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. You look so good from here, Rick. <laughs> just don't try. Just don't try to come down with that rope. Hoist the way, matey. <laughs> Now, I'm going to put my window back in. Okay. You know, you have been uh, missing in our book. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, we have been talking about you occasionally. Uh -huh. uh, anytime we have seen your mom, your dad. Uh -huh. well, I live in Arcata, California. Uh -huh. And I like to race bikes. And next year, I'm going on a bike ride around the world. It's called Odyssey 2000. We're going to leave January 1st from Los Angeles. We're going to, 250 of us, we're going to ride the beginning of the Rose Parade and then we're going to ride our bikes around the world. And on the way back, we're going to come through the Rose Parade at the end of the Rose Parade. Around so, the world? Uh, yeah, by bicycle. Okay. So that trip starts January 1st. I'll be gone for the whole year. And I live out there with my 12-year-old son, Ian. And uh, I recently had a job working at the airport, and now I'm unemployed, getting ready for my big round-the-world bike trip. How, who pays for this? How, how do I you saved, do I've been saving my money over the years. Really? Yeah, for quite a few years now. Saving every penny I had so I could go on this trip. Because uh -huh. I like to travel and I like to ride bikes, so it's a perfect trip for me. How come you are a little bit different and or separated from the rest of the well, um, family? Everybody's different, you know, even though we're all a family here. I left home when I was 16 and started traveling and went to Jamaica when I was 17, went to Europe when I was 18 and uh, traveled around the world by myself when I was 19. So I'm different in the sense that I wanted, I got out on my own early and I had my first job when I was 14 and quit school. My mom didn't even know I quit school. I started working as a janitor in a department store and I quit <laughs> school and she got a call from the school saying, you know, your son hasn't been here in three weeks. She goes, well, he's getting up and going somewhere every day. So she asked me, where are you going? I said, well, I'm, I've got a job. I'm working. So she let me quit school so I could work. And, so did and you get your... Uh High school I got my GED, yeah. Oh, GED. Yeah. It was basically, you know, I was pretty much, when I grew up, I was I was always in trouble. I was the troubling, the one that was always in trouble out of the, out of the two. So it my, wasn't Carl. It was you then. No, it was me, yeah. I was in more, definitely in more trouble than Carl and Rick. Yeah, what did was, you do? One of the troubles. <laughs> uh, well, just to give you an example, when I was going to junior high school, that's when things really started kind of getting bad for me because I was just constantly in trouble and the first two weeks of junior high school I was at the office 11 times and uh, I used to just make up stuff and trip up teachers in the hallways just all kinds of bad stuff and so one time they asked us to write an autobiography well up to that point I didn't feel like my life was really all that interesting so I just made some stuff up and I, it was bad I mean it was really bad I never should have done it. I made up stuff that my parents beat me and stuff which was not true at all and so they they called my parents in to have a conference when after I got in all this trouble and they showed them this paper that I'd written. Oh man, yeah. I got in trouble. <laughs> they were That's... pretty mad. This place is kind of funny to me because if you've ever seen the movie or the series Twilight Zone, that's what I think of every time that when I come in here because you see all these nice houses and then you come in here it's like do 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 <laughs> Twilight Zone because <laughs> yes, it's so at, different. At night, right? Yeah, exactly. You're walking at night. Yeah. Maybe, it's... Since you're the only one uh, I can ask this question, uh, do you want your son to be like you? I want him or... to do positive things with his life. I've already tried to get him to do exercise and stuff. I'm more, I'm kind of an exercise nut myself. and. He's done, actually, when he was seven years old, I talked him into doing a triathlon, and he did it again, I think, when he was 11. But then at one point he told us, you know, this is just too hard. He didn't really like to train, and you have to train. The training makes it easier. 
and he didn't want to train. I said, fine, but he's into other things. He, he goes to this camp called Camp Winter Rainbow. They nickname it a clown camp every year. It's, he, learns, he learned how to ride a unicycle, juggle, uh, walk on stilts, and those kind of things. So, and he's been in a choir before. So as long as he does positive things with his life, that would be fine with me. I don't really care what it is, as long you know, as he doesn't hurt somebody and does positive things with his life. That's, that's the important thing. If he doesn't want to fall on my footsteps, that's fine. But I would like to at least think that he's doing some good things with his life, and so far he has been. So that, that makes me feel kind of good. This is the Beanie family, the best family in, in all of Gaithersburg. That's right. Right. It doesn't get any better than this. That's the Beanie. That is the Beanie yeah. family. Thank you very much. All right. Bye bye. Back to work now. I would say to this whole world is everyone should have a trust in God and do the best that they can do in whatever they're doing and stay in line with God and that's it. Thank you. That was very nice. Now, <laughs> you have something to say? You have something to say, Mr. To Beauty? the whole world? To the whole world. To the whole world. This yeah, is to the whole world, I would say that I died a year ago. Uh -huh. But I didn't see heaven. I just seen the gate, but I didn't go through the gate. What did you see? A bunch of bubbles or something? A bunch of bubbles. It looked like Lawrence Welk show. <laughs> and then they disappeared. That's and then I started to breathe again and come back to life. That's, that's interesting. That's mm -hmm. very interesting. It is? I think that's very interesting. And then after that, there was a little boy came into my room, in my hospital room, and I was having a hard time. And he put his finger up like this, and he says, watch me, and I'll show you how to breathe. And he showed me how to breathe the correct way, up through my nose and out my mouth. And as soon as I'd done that, I started to breathe okay. And then the little boy disappeared. Oh, really? He disappeared. We didn't have no wings on him. I don't know who it was, but that's what happened. That's so, so there's a heaven. That's but I didn't get through the gates. I guess I wasn't good enough yet. <laughs> it wasn't so, your time. One might <laughs> have sent me back down here yeah. to talk to nice guys like you. <laughs> that's all I got to say. Thank you. Amen. <laughs>
old buddy. She goes, yeah, what do you want, old buddy? We used to call each other old buddy. We had, we had, my, my mother was a very kind, loving person. And she touched the lives of many people. I, I feel lonely with that. I remember one of their neighbors, uh, probably the neighbor that uh, knows about this family more than any other neighbors. Uh, and I have at least uh, 20 hours of videotape to prove it. <laughs> 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 uh, I have a lot of stories, uh, but one story I have to tell you, because uh, a couple years ago, one of our neighbors uh, was uh, in some financial problem. So their house went for closing. And I don't think any other neighbors really went to see if they need something, if they, do, if they can do something to them. Not everybody knew that, but only one afternoon I saw from my window that Mrs. Beatles car driving toward my house around the circle. I said, well, let be Mrs. Beatles coming to see me because once or twice she came to my house and she invited me for something and actually she was collecting some charities for hospitals. And, uh, but I noticed no, she stopped in that house. And it was uh, an afternoon that nobody was basically around, I don't know why. She got out of the car and she got some food, some bags of food, and some bags of her own uh, eggs that she had some chickens, if you know, the kind of house, <laughs> brought to the family. And let me tell you this secret. I've never told her, I have that part also on videotape. <laughs> <laughs> From my window. January 9, uh, 2005. It was uh, nine years ago when uh, I started to go exactly this same direction uh, to go to the Beatles for the first time. I've been going through this path several times, many, many times maybe, but hopefully they are home today. Uh, 
let's see this is where the chickens used to be I don't see any chickens How are you doing? Oh, I'm hanging in there. How's everything? Oh, I'm still working for a living. Ah. So good exercise. You're still doing that. Right. <laughs> so you look good. You look great. Yeah. You really haven't uh, changed in the past, uh, what, nine, ten years? Oh, well, no. It's basically the same thing. Oh, yeah. I really? got yeah. one more gray hair. Uh, what about Bob? He's out in California. He called up, said he, hello for Christmas. Really? Mm -hmm. He wasn't here for uh, mom or uh, yeah, pops, no. pops, uh, puppy's uh, funeral. No, he was overseas know. at what the time. Yeah. Do you have anything uh, as the last uh, statement here on this project that I'm doing? I'm gonna get me a civilized woman now that I got a bathroom and a kitchen coming. Yeah, you can bet your boots on that, Bubba. <laughs> Mom was my old buddy. Me and her was old buddies. And Dad, he was he was a teacher, you know. He was a hardcore teacher. He was tough love all the way. But me and I, uh, me and Dad and Al Shifflett, <laughs> we spent we spent many nights together, putting down the Budweisers, <laughs> just sitting around having a good time, and everything else. That's I guess that's ah uh, yep. Oh man, he was something else. He was a real trip. So, uh, any, any and I, you know, I miss my old buddy too. And I, I say hello to him every day. They're right over there. So, I say hello to him about two or three times a day, actually. I still miss him. You know, um, there was there was good memories and bad memories. But yeah, he just tried to remember all the good stuff. And it was this place, this farm. Just ain't the same without him no more. I still miss him. Uh, you know, life goes on. Do you have no special plan for this place? We're just trying to survive. Just trying to hang in here. Land taxes are going crazy. In this area. And that's it. And uh, <laughs> man, I'm. Jeez, I don't know. The last message to finish this. This is going to be the very end of the movie, huh? Right. Y'all come back now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is the last time I come here for this project. All right. Uh, of course, I'll be coming and visiting you guys, but I want to finish this. Uh, so maybe we start another project with something else. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Whatever. Take care. All right. Uh, bye bye. <laughs>